you know what happens in these videos. You see the video, you know. Oh, yep, I need to get on the phone to the adjuster, start trying mm -hmm. to settle this, treat them great because this is our fault. We don't want a lawsuit out of this. Well, when we had that SD camera in, we were involved in a rear end collision. And <clears throat> this was on the interstate where the rear end collision occurred. And there were three people in the vehicle. Well, mm. I get on the phone to the driver. I'm talking to him, asking him what happened and everything. Um, asked him, you know, how did this occur? Well, I had another semi in front of me and this car pulled out in front of them and they swerved. I didn't have time to swerve and miss them. And they pulled out right in front of us and they were only doing 20 miles an hour when I hit them. Okay, so I get a hold of our adjuster, start talking to him. Well, the data is going to show that, you know, they pulled out in front of us. They weren't doing the the minimum speed limit on the interstate. They never should have been in the lane of travel and everything. And we leave it at that. I ask the driver to bring in the SD card. He brings in the SD card and it's 100% blank. Well, we hadn't had that happen before and we've always had video on it it just may have stopped recording at one point in time but there was always video on it so i gave the card to our it department had them pull that data that the driver had deleted and for five miles i watched that car in front of that driver as he's bouncing back and forth between the lanes because i found out that he was texting while driving and that was the cause of the rear end so now i'm four days behind and I'm having to tell my adjuster, hey, change our story. We're not going after them. We'll be extremely lucky if they don't come after us and everything. And, you know, I'd much rather know the truth than to be backpedaling like that. You can and, always and get ahead of the claim. You can't always catch up once you're behind.